Hi, I'm Amy SD and this is Fitness Business Find Out Friday. Today I'm just going to hang out here and answer a question for you. I haven't done that in a while. I've been working on other things, as you know. Um, speaking of which, kettlebell video number three will be available to you on Monday afternoon. And that's going to be an ab workout. So in the meantime, you can work on one and two over the weekend, refresh yourself. And then on Monday afternoon, video number three will be re ready for you. Uh, but today I want to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately. Um, I think it's because I've been blogging a lot about nutrition and food, and that is because I've been in a nutrition class that's been really good, really helpful, and I've also been working really hard to change mine and my, my, and my family's eating habits. Um, so people have been asking me a lot of nutrition questions, and the main one that I've been getting uh, from four different people in the last week is what do I eat right before I work out, if anything, and what should you eat after a workout? Um, that's a really good question because some people think that they should work out on empty stomach. They might get up and go to the gym first thing in the morning, um, and that's that's not good is to, to go with an empty stomach. You really have to have something small, not a huge breakfast, not a 2,000 calorie, you know, go crazy kind of thing, but uh, two to 300 calories right before you work out is really important, particularly carbs. I say carbs before cardio because you need the glucose from carbs in your bloodstream for the energy and fuel to work out. So I would suggest something small, maybe a little bowl of Cheerios or any kind of little low-fat cereal, um, oatmeal, or even a, an energy bar or something with carbs in it that's not uh, pure sugar. Uh, about 30 to 40 minutes before you go work out, it's going to give your body what it needs to get through that workout properly. And I want to tell you one thing you're going to notice, it's easy to see, is that if you don't eat before you work out, you're going to fatigue really fast. You're going to get really tired, your muscles are going to get sore, you're going to wear out a lot quicker. You'll, you'll be able to go the whole workout if you eat first. Something you can't see though, what's going on inside of your body, is the, what we use or what our bodies use for the energy is glucose. And the, we get that from the carbs. Our, it gets into our bloodstream and gives us the fuel we need. If we don't have that readily available glucose in our bloodstream, then our body's going to get it from somewhere. And it actually gets it from the muscles. Our muscles store glycogen, which then can be turned into glucose. I don't want to get too scientific, but that's what happens is your, your body takes it from the muscles, breaks the muscles down, and uses those stores for the energy that it needs to get through the workout. So you're defeating the purpose. Now for after a work, if you don't eat, I should, let me go back. You're defeating the purpose of your workout if you don't eat, and you're going to get tired quicker if you don't eat. So have something small carbohydrate based before you go work out. Now that's my personal recommendation. Again, I am not a dietitian. I'm just telling you what works for me and other people who work out regularly, what they have told me that works for them as well. Okay, and after a workout, it's really good within the first half hour, within that 30 minute time frame, to eat something with protein in it to restore and rebuild your muscles and then also some carbs. You know, eat more carbs. 60% uh, of your diet should be carbohydrate based. And I've put a link here under the video and also in the blog to my Monday post about how much carbs, fat, and protein that you should have in your diet, no matter what kind of calorie um, intake plan that you're on. So, um, but yeah, about a half hour within that half hour time frame after working out, I like to come home and have a peanut butter sandwich or a tuna sandwich, or a reveal shake, or a, something with whey protein in it. Uh, if I'm on the go and I'm not going to be home where I can eat during that half hour, I keep a protein bar in my gym bag and I eat that and, and drink lots and lots of water eat before, during, and after your workout. Drink lots and lots of water. That's really important. So I hope that is somewhat helpful to you and not confusing. Uh, just remember, don't go work out on an empty stomach and make carbs really smart carbs, vegetables and fruits and whole grains, 60% of your diet. Have a little bit before you work out. Have some after with some protein. After you work out, drink your green tea and your dark chocolate. Great antioxidants um, in moderation for the chocolate. All right, so that's all I have for you today. I will see you Monday with the kettlebell ab routine. Until then, have a great weekend, and Amy SZ is out.